Hello, I am Ghostman90, and this is my complete tutorial on how to make a character. So, first step of making a character is to get a sprite sheet, of course. So, basically, you get any sprite sheet you want to code for a character. And to do, to then the next thing you should do is open it with Paint or whatever program you have. It don't matter now. So I open it with paint right here. So this is a drunkly whatever paint, yeah. So uh, now you have to cut out each sprite. That's what you gotta do. This is this this part of the tutorial is sprite cutting. And to cut out sprites, you have to press this select button right here. It's square. Click on it, and then you just cut them out like that. See, I cut it out, I can move it around, whatever. You press edit, press cut, new, don't save, paste it on there. Or whatever. So then you have to, um, then you have to move this up there so it not fit onto that window really easy. And it looks like that. See. Next thing you do, you press file, save as. You change it. Do not do picture image, which is JPEG. Change it. Change it to 24 bitmap. Save it. Yes. Whatever. So you keep doing that. You know, you press edit, undo, edit, undo, edit, undo. Then whatever. You keep undoing it. But I wouldn't do it because the faster way is to get GIMP. GIMP is way faster. See? This is GIMP. Say hello, GIMP. No. So, GIMP is faster because it can do cutting faster, trust me. So, look at this is cutting with GIMP. And you save it, and that's it. So, uh, if you're going to cut Sprite, you can either get GIMP or Photoshop. They both work okay because I had them. So, yeah. Uh, that's what I recommend. So, so, once you cut up all your sprites as a bitmap, Go download Fighter Factory or get it. If you already have it, open it up. Next thing you should do is press File, Templates, Elect by Player. So that's basically done for that part. Next thing we should do is press on this weird thing called Palettes Edit. Right? You got all this right here. You press this button right here called Open Image. You open your just any bitmap Im image, so you have to change files of type to bitmap. Right there. Here's your junkly. So that's your junkly, you press open. You press the button called optimize. You have all these just just some colors. Either just mine. So some images might have 256 colors. That must suck for you guys, because this is what I do. And this is and I do this. I just I click on the background right here, and it shows me the color which is green. So I it's green. So green is the background color, and this is how most of you noob coders out there are weird because you cannot set up the transparency right. So to do the transparency right, you have to click on it, the background image color, and you click on the white right here, and you press this button called transfer colors. And now there's a green background, right? Now that's basically done. Next thing you should do is just click on the one and one. One, one. And you transfer it over. Next one. Two and two. Three and three. You just keep transferring and transferring for all of them. That's what, that's what I mean by it must suck for all you guys out there who have to do this. I'm doing it too, but that's why I'm putting chibi characters that don't have 256 colors. See, I just keep doing this and doing this, whatever. It don't even matter if you add that another green, so just make it still transparent. So you just keep going and going and going. See, that's done. 
See, now they match each other completely. Except for the green and the black except here. So now the next thing you should do is you press this button. Save. Right here. And it'll save it as an act or a palette file. So that's your first thing done. That's basically it. You save it as a palette file. Now we'll move on to the next part, which is the def file. Definitions. To do the definitions is really easy. You first got to make up or you must know the name of the character you're going to make. So the character I'm going to make is a Drunk Lee. So Drunk Lee, his name. The character of the name of the game, same thing, Drunk Lee. Date of creation, any date, no matter, 4 slash 18 slash 08. See? Anything will basically work. For Mugen version, it don't matter, just choose one. Author name, my name, or your name. Standard palette order, if you want to have, like, Six. If you want to have like six different colors for your characters, go ahead. But if you're just a normal coder, then just do one. Just one. Next is the SFF. To do this, you just highlight the character's name. Copy it. You paste it in, and you press dot SFF. You do this for all ones, but add the weird ending with the dot. So dot s and d paste dot a i r paste dot c m d and now for these two called the cns file name constant states don't matter do the same thing dot c n s dot c n s that's it then you just press this black save button and it'll save it all save it like I don't know. have one here. So you have to save it in sprite format, whatever, which is drunk Lee. It's okay. That's it. Next one. Same thing. Drunk Lee. So